Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. want to say hi to all my viewers. Bonjour, privet, guten tag, hola, and ciao to my foreign viewers. Uh, today you see in front of you some uh, replica knives. <clears throat> uh, this is in response to a comment I had. I read your comments. Uh, sometimes they give me ideas about uh, putting on a, a, a particular video, answering a question that you have. Or, or just trying to inform you guys on a uh, good deal or a good thing. And that's what this video is about. All of these knives are historical replicas. So none of them are real. But they are accurate uh, replicas of knives that are actually held in museums. Every single one of these is uh, a historical knife that is held in a museum somewhere. And so... Um, why would you do that? <clears throat> well, you know, on a knife like this, uh, you might be able to pick it up for a pretty good price. This is a little belt knife uh, found in the uh, southwest. And it, it has a Mediterranean origin, some Spanish influence there. This is a popular belt knife in the um, 1840s up to about the 1880s. Just a little knife that me, me you or I might carry... Uh, and call a hunting knife but uh, they use these for smaller tasks in skinning and then of course uh, I just had this knife in a uh, video and so that's what prompted uh, this video and I wanted to share with you guys <clears throat> that these are really inexpensive and I think they're fantastic because these knives are user knives so this knife <clears throat> is not a fantasy knife this is real steel hardened tempered and um, you could take this out and you can use it so that's the beauty of these knives <clears throat> and the other thing is you could just have a hold a little bit of history in your hand this knife right here is a copy of a boa a bowie made in the 1820s and um, you'd pay twenty thousand dollars or more to get an original one so you know having that opportunity to have something like this. And by the way, this looks exactly like the original. Um, it's just really cool. It's just a cool way to have a piece of history and it won't break the bank. So these knives run in around the $50, $60 range, depending on what knife you choose. And so I'm gonna take you through that in this video. All right, uh, so what you see is a Crazy Crow's uh, home website on the internet. Um, this website uh, is kind of a uh, trading post type of website where you can find things relating to uh, primarily Native Americans. And you can see over here in the categories, um, let me see if I can... Uh, Zoom in for you here. Beadwork, blankets, that kind of things. But you can also see down towards the middle, historical reenactment supplies. And then you can see knife, knives and knife making. And that's where we come in, knives and knife making. And so um, the cool thing about this uh, website, let's, oh, Sorry about that. The uh, cool thing about this website is um, you can get these historical knives, and they're mainly designed for uh, reenactments. But, you know, they have kits, so you can make uh, knives if you want to make knives and uh, knife-making supplies. But let's go to just sheaths and uh, scabbards here. Oh, actually, I want to go to uh, knives. Let's see. Knife, hawk, and sheaths. And so it's really cool. I mean, these are authentic. Uh, obviously, they're not historical, but they are um, they are well researched in what original um, type of sheaves were. And so it's just really cool to have a little piece of history of. The, 
of that and let's go to uh, the knives ourselves and you can see a list of different kind of knives um, that they have belt knives daggers butcher knives um, specialty knives dirks folding knives daggers bowie knives just all kinds of different historical um, knives that were used patch knives and so um, let's just go to one of these and I'll show you how I pick these knives up. Uh, let's go to Bowie knives, right? That's a favorite. And uh, so these are all, this is one that I have, uh, a Bowie knife that I have. It was made in Philadelphia. These over here are uh, common to uh, Louisiana, New Orleans. Um, you can see down here, this is one I'd like to have that I don't have is a Confederate buoy right there. So those are, um, you know, again, made off of historical uh, uh, buoy knives and they're, they're replicated. But you can also see it's only $56. So... Um, let me zoom in here. You see that Confederate Bowie is only $56. Scroll up a little bit. 22 inches overall length, $56. Um, let's go down and look at another one. This is Tai Chi's Bowie. It was uh, modeled after one in a museum. I think it's in North Carolina. And there's the full thing. $59. Uh, I paid less because I bought these a couple years ago. But um, really nice. This is a really big Bowie. That's this knife right here huge it's a big bowie really cool knife the sheath is not great you can make your own sheath if you want but it, it does have a sheath that comes with it uh says it has uh, rosewood uh, handles german silver inlays And it doesn't say what the steel is. Carbon steel. Anyhow. Um, really cool website. I want to get out here if I can. Hold on just a second. Okay, so here's a section on other weapons. You have war clubs, arrowheads, swords and sabers. That would have been... Uh, once again, historical. This, there's a cavalry saber right here. I've never actually been into there. I have looked at the war clubs. Let's look at these sabers here. See what they're running. Uh, so that's pretty reasonable. $79 for a uh, replica of a cavalry saber. I'm sure you can't go smacking on a tree. Uh, with that saber, uh, you know, so they're not the same quality as like Atlantic cutlery would would um, provide you, but those things are in the three hundred dollar range. So if you just wanted to have an example, a good example of a cavalry saber, uh, not necessarily war ready, you know, it's seventy nine dollars for for that. And then um, here's a section I like. This is a uh, a clothing attire that was worn so you know reenactors guys who go to mountain men reenactments and colonial reenactments and things like that are, are wearing these type of things um, but it's pretty cool stuff let's go let's see if we can find a jacket here Uh, 
I know I've looked at jackets. I don't know how to find them. Hold on a minute. So you're seeing again a, a reenactment uh, stuff, but say, you know, you have a black powder uh, rifle and you want to go out. It's black powder season. So you want to go out uh, black powder and maybe you want to put on uh, some traditional garb because you're using the 18th century um, uh, black powder rifle. And there you go right there. So these are authentic uh, garb that would have been worn by by the frontier men and the pioneer men uh, running through the mountains. Uh, this pullover shirt's eighty nine dollars. Pretty cool stuff. So this is a section on uh, beadwork. Uh, Native American beadwork, and so there's all kinds of uh, stuff in here. But um, if you want to put a, a lanyard, Native American lanyard, on your sheath that you're uh, carrying around, um, this has all kinds of supplies for that. So it has beads, bracelets, and just all kinds of uh, cool stuff uh, that you can use to uh, put on your your hunting stuff. And um, also, you know, bags, uh, this was common to carry a bag like this in the uh, early 1800s, uh, all the way up into the 1870s. And um, people would put their black powder in bags like this. Um, and of course, you can find other examples of American style, not Native American style, but American styles in that section on uh, reenactment. So... Anyhow, just a really cool website. I wanted to share that with you. I'm going to show it to you one more time if I can get home. Let me try to find the home real quick. And there it is. Crazy Crow. Supplies for Native American and historical reenactment, crafts, cloths, and footwear. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Great way to get a little historical uh, uh, knives at a very affordable price. And I hope you found the video informative, and I really appreciate all your support.